Well, here we are at the end of another year for Mars One, and what a year it's been. So before I go on and look at what happened in December, I just want to briefly summarise the key milestones the project achieved in 2015. And well, it's certainly safe to say that 2015 got off to a fantastic start with the announcement of the final 100 candidates in Mars One's first astronaut selection process. For a review of this process and a summary of the key steps moving forward, I conducted three interviews with Dr Norbert Kraft, the head of Mars One's Crew Selection Committee, which you'll find here, here and here. On the technical front, June saw the public release of the first conceptual design study commissioned by Mars One, an independent analysis by the Paragon Space Development Corporation on the environment control and life support system required by Mars One to sustain its human crews on the Red Planet. For a detailed overview of this report, you can check out the video I put together just over here, as well as links to the full report and various summaries down below. The second half of 2015 was, by comparison, much more behind the scenes in nature, with many of the activities focused on laying the groundwork for the next rounds of the selection process. This included scouting locations for the simulation outpost, as well as work on a major new funding round, to finance Mars One's activities in 2016 and beyond. Now, I'm especially eager and excited to share the details of this with you, but for the time being, I'll simply confirm that Mars One remains on track to close this funding deal by the end of the winter. In the meantime, to sate your appetites with regards to the next steps in the technical implementation of Mars One's mission plan, I've arranged for a Skype interview with the Paragon Space Development Corporation, which will be taking place in January. During this interview, we'll be discussing life support technologies, the next steps moving forward with their design process, as well as a number of the key issues raised by their initial assessment. So what's been happening with regards to Mars One in December? Well, the month started with the publication of an interview with longtime Mars One ambassador and Nobel Prize winning physicist, Herard de Hooft. In particular, when asked about how Mars One can further its ties with the scientific community, he replied that in many ways Mars One is passing through a bottleneck at the moment. Given the successful completion of all of the detailed design studies for each key component on its mission roadmap, and indeed eventually the conclusion of the first robotic demonstration mission in 2020, he foresees an inevitable increase in the credibility of Mars One, with both the scientific community and the general public as a whole. He concludes by noting that he personally finds it amazing all that Mars One has achieved to date, but this is of course just the beginning. And as always, I'll post a link to the full interview down below. Now, Professor de Hooft wasn't the only scientist discussing Mars One this past month. As December saw the airing of a one-hour dedicated Mars One episode of Neil deGrasse Tyson's Star Talk TV show over on the National Geographic channel. Now, if you watched the episode, you might notice a certain familiar face, as I was fortunate enough to be interviewed as a guest for this episode back when it was filmed or way back in June. I particularly relish the chance to discuss the technicalities of Mars One with former NASA astronaut Mike Massimino, though as you can probably tell from watching the episode, much of the heavy physics and engineering discussion unfortunately didn't make the final cut. Beyond the scientific community, Mars One's vision of enabling human life on Mars inspired a production of La Damnation de Faust by the Opera Nationale de Paris, which ran for three weeks from December 8th. In this reimagining of the classic tale of a scholar who sold his soul in order to obtain unlimited knowledge, the opera brings the story into the 21st century by studying the dilemma of a man willing to leave his life on the Earth behind to move permanently to Mars. Back down on the Earth, though, we've been continuing organising meetups amongst the Mars 100 in preparation for the next rounds of the selection process in September. 
December saw a catch-up amongst American candidates Yari R. Daniel and Kenya over in Boston, as well as a meet-up in Cairo between Egyptian candidate Mido and Polish candidate Mikolai, no doubt discussing that uh, Mido was recently named amongst the top 15 influencers of the year in Egypt, which is certainly an incredible achievement, notably for his space advocacy and educational outreach work. Well done! And of course, what better way was there to sign off 2015 than with the first successful landing of an orbital rocket by SpaceX? And on their return to flight, no less. I mean, I was watching it live and just on the edge of my seat at all times watching that on December 21st. I hope many of you experienced it as well. It was absolutely stunning to say the least. And the implications of reusable rocketry for the entire space flight, not least for Mars One, are simply astounding. And well, if we're looking forward to 2016, then I believe it seems to be quite likely at the moment that SpaceX may be able to refly one of these stages in 2016. So it's certainly looking to be an interesting and extremely exciting year for space exploration. So there's nothing quite like watching one of these launches live. So I'm going to be trying a little experiment on this channel in future. So what I want to do is for every single future SpaceX launch, one hour before the launch, I'm going to publish a link to a Google Hangout in the comments section of the latest one of these update videos so that you can join and converse, speak with me, discuss space exploration in the run-up to each of these launches. That way I want to interact with more of you directly. The next one of these launches is currently scheduled for January 17th, so keep an eye out in the comment section of this video for the link to join that hangout and I hope to see you then. Thanks for watching. If you're new to this channel, I produce monthly updates on the Mars One project on the first Saturday of each month, as well as far-ranging content on planetary science, astrophysics and human spaceflight. This month's feature video is helicopter footage of SpaceX's successful relanding of the first stage of the Falcon 9. Next Saturday, I'll be releasing a video examining our best ideas as to how the first life began here on the Earth. But in the meantime, you can follow me on Twitter, subscribe and comment down below to join the conversation.